maybe it did. I'm not totally touching that stuff, but like the kind of stuff that uh, that you do cover in the game. Yeah. So the, the one of the parts where something like masters of doing this play is um, is um, research methods. Right. And boy, did I love just the point you really able to unpack the language of of research. Yeah, because you realize now as a layperson how much you're exposed to every new story. Oh, there's yeah. a new study that says, you know, exposed that there's a, you know, a relationship between, you know, whatever, drinking yeah. red wine and uh, skin cancer. And you're like, oh, and like how many, and then, and then all of a sudden you come home and your girlfriend's like, I'm not allowed to drink red wine. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Can we, you know, and uh, what was the sample size here? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and first of all, that's. That's not, that's, that doesn't mean it's a causal relationship. No. Uh, all of these um, yeah. corollary uh, studies, yeah. that people interpret as being a problem. Yeah. My favorite example is the one that says uh, there is a um, seven time higher incidence of drowning among um, children that eat ice cream in the summer. Okay. <laughs> so, therefore, if you don't that's want your child to drown, don't, don't get a nice good ice cream. Yeah. Or Great maybe logic. it's just because all the kids going to the beach are also eating ice cream. Yeah, no kidding. Right. Go into that one. Like, uh, yeah. so, so you that's can't you can't draw the far goal. And that's straight literally. Like just being able to say this is of good information and I want to watch more. Yeah. No, it's. Oh, oh this thing is doing it. Oh, really? You're bot. Before before he became a senator, Al, Al Franken was one of my favorite authors. So he gives me Al Franken. No. The former writer from Saturday Night Live. Okay. And and you know <laughs> he was in some skits and stuff on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then he he, he became he, his his then career after that was as a um, more of a left leaning um, radio uh, radio personality politically and wrote a number of books. Basically, tearing apart the right wing uh, propaganda in the US. Uh -huh. So, your Rush Limbaugh's uh, yeah. um, and Coulter, uh, Bill Reddy. Uh -huh. So, he has this entire chapter, uh, a series of chapters on the called Lying with the Business, where he goes through and analyzes how that entire industry has an entire art of the lie with the business. But the reason why I like reading it is to me. Yeah. So he's writing very serious topic, but he just infuses it with all these just awesome riffs and the funny, you know, sarcastic comments. Yeah, it is. But uh, but then underneath it, he's just so scared. Yeah. Realize how how those um, pundits and authors and interviewers are just naturally just insanely misleading um, statistics. Oh yeah. To the scientists. Yeah. Right. So then, when you couple the stats, which they often do, with, intuit with intuition, intuitive thought, that to me is like the ultimate, that's the whole thing. That's how you do for everybody. So like, um, you take a little thread of truth and say, okay, well, that's also intuitive. Well, that's um, what you're hitting on with straight goal. What you're hitting on the core of is what uh, Stephen Colbert has pointed. There's two things. <laughs> have, you heard, have you ever heard of that term? That was yeah. his big thing to point, yeah. right? Yeah. Truthiness is not something. It's, it's not something that's true. It's just something that feels true. Yeah. In your gut, you want it to be true, <laughs> and therefore that's true. Yeah. Honestly. And it's uh, it's brilliant. Right? It is. It is. And it's actually that perfectly captures that entire that entire yep. space. Yeah. It's all about truth. Oh, so